Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Jukebox818, Meg, whatever you call me. Um, I'm here with another little uh, review here for the new XTC. And I'm just answering some basic questions. I've been getting a lot of questions. I'm actually surprised. Um, first off, I just want to tell you that this the color of the phone is actually navy. I don't know if you can tell or not. I tried to put this, get some sunlight coming in here through this glass door. But um, it is navy. Here's just an up close view of the keyboard and the back of the phone, the camera. Like I said last night, it's studded. There you go. You got the headphone jack and the USB, and also the micro SD card slot right here. And, um, okay, so like I was saying, this is a quality made phone. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a little bit with the texting because I got a lot of questions on that. I'm going to talk about the shuttle and the differences between the two and uh, the themes and everything. Basically, I'm going to try to get through most of the questions that I was asked. If we just go and we want to text, okay? Just just text somebody random. What you can do is you press over on there and ask you what you want to do. You want to send a text message or a picture message? I want to send a text message. So I'm I'm going to just um, dial a random number. Now notice that when I'm dialing this number, um, they don't give me, even when I close it, they don't give me the optional little keypad, which they do when I dial, okay? And if the phone is open like this, which it has to be to put in the number, um, the, the screen doesn't flip, it stays horizontal. Okay, it's not a big thing, just thought it, it's worth mentioning. Now the keys, okay, I think this is a, actually pretty good in focus. The keys um, are very tiny, like I was saying last night. If you have big hands, oh, I'm sorry, uh, it is actually very hard to type. Um, if you have smaller hands, like me, it's not quite as hard, but it's not exactly easy either. It does take a couple, it does take some getting used to. And if you're trying to type long messages, this may not be the phone for you. Like there, I already goofed it. Now you got your symbol key over here. Um, and your caps key too. And they are all, again, over here in the corner. Here's just a view of the keyboard. Now, I believe the guy on CNET called these buttons here to control, like, send, and the contact button here, a, quote, visual jog. Um, I honestly don't understand where he's getting that from. I mean, I can see, but when you're doing hand-eye coordination, it doesn't matter, you know what I mean? So, I, I wouldn't, uh, if you're kind of worried about the keyboard, don't listen to him about the freaking visual jog. Um, the keys are raised a little bit above uh, the surface of the phone. Not a lot, though. I mean, you can sort of tell when I turn it on its side for you. But, as you see, as I showed you there, it's a little harder to text if you have bigger hands or you're, uh, you know, I don't want to say middle-aged, but um, an older person, like not like 80, but like, you know, 30, 40, 50 even, and you're trying to use this as like a texting phone, which honestly I don't know who, I, I think texting phones are more so for like younger people, like youth oriented, but you know, you never know. So I'm not going to send that because I didn't have an actual number I was sending that to. Um, I want to talk about the micro SD card because I did get some questions about that. The micro SD card to use the mp3 player on here. I'll just talk to you the mp3 player. I don't have a micro SD card so I can't tell you much about the mp3 player, the media player just yet but um, there's the slot right there you can see I think it's right in there micro SD card slot casing or cover whatever you want to call it and then there's a USB a mini USB jack right there which uses the uh is, is also used as a charger 
and uh, the headphone jack. Now, headphone jack, important to remember here. You have to have a mini, you know, a smaller headphone, earphone, um, like a, you know, one of those ones you, not Bluetooth, but you can, I think you can use Bluetooth with it, but something where you'd be able to have it in your ear and then push to talk, you know what I mean, like this. This is a Verizon one. I think it sent me back $30. I know Kyocera makes their own, and I think they run for about $20, between $15 and $20. I'm not 100% sure. Check that out on virginmobileusa.com. But um, you do have to buy the handset thingy. You cannot use a normal, a normal based uh, thing. This is actually a pair of like DJ headphones, and I'll just show you. This is for the normal computer. It will not fit in there. It doesn't go. Okay. Um, what else can I talk about? Um, as far as I know, music can be taken from the micro SD, from a micro SD card, or through a mini USB. I think you can put music on, okay? But you, these are, again, specialty products that you have to pay a little extra for. Like, uh, regular SD cards don't work. I mean, I can, you can clearly tell the place, the slot for the, uh, micro is way smaller than the US, or SD card regular size. Um, I want to talk just really fast about the um, differences between this XTC and or the XTC M2000 and the shuttle. Okay, there's about three. Well, of course, this one has a keyboard, and if you're a big texter, I honestly think this might be the way to go. The keyboard is a little small, mind you, but uh, it is quality made. Like I think quality defeats the uh, size of the keyboard here. And it has so many features packed into the phone, I think it might be worth your while to buy. Um, however, the shuttle runs on a 3G network, which means it's got the fastest internet speed on the uh, Virgin Mobile. I honestly don't know if that's true or not. Uh, I know uh, Virgin Mobile runs on a watered-down internet system, not a complete full you know, internet system like that on your phone, of course. Um, but I honestly don't know if that's true or not. It could be maybe a little faster. I, if you have a shuttle, you should comment and tell the other people about it. But I, I think it would go faster. And uh, the shuttle also records videos. This does not record videos, just so everybody knows on here. I thought it did. According, I went through the manual. I looked back and forth. I even got on the website and looked at the Q&A. Somebody asked, it, does it record video? People are saying yes. People are saying no. Uh, there is no video record button on here, like when you're in the camera settings. So I am going to say no. Right now it does not record video. Can it watch video? Uh, again, I don't have a micro SD card in or bought just yet because I just ha I just got this yesterday. But I would think probably not. You probably would not be able to watch videos on it just because um, it doesn't have the video, you know, video player. I think it might have, I don't think it has video messaging actually. I don't think it does. So probably not on that video. Does it play videos? Probably not. <clears throat> I'm sorry I can't answer that in depth. Um, if you call or email Virgin Mobile, they'll be able to tell you. They should be able to tell you. Um, That's about it for the uh, for the shuttle and the thing differences. I mean, they both have Bluetooth and the uh, the slide, of course, and uh, the MP3 player. So that's basically they're basically the same, except this one's got a keyboard. That's about it, and doesn't have the 3G network. There you go. Um, <coughs> sorry, I, I do apologize. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, I hope this answered some questions. I mean. I've been getting a ton, so, you know, if you have more questions or anything like that, just drop them down below. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you do like these videos. I'm happy to make more. Just let me know what you need answered or shown. And, um, uh, alright. Thanks for watching.